All right, this is just to show a um, another controller I've been working on to a customer. Um, basically, this light here, the one that's glowing nice and red, is saying everything's okay. This potentiometer here is the current limiter. As you can see, as I turn it right down to nothing, it's going straight to overcurrent. It's um, not as bright. And that's because this root resistor's there, but not too fussed about it. I didn't want it to be too. See, in the in the proper board when I get it made, um, the amber light's actually much brighter than the, the red light is. So that's why I did it like this. But uh, anyway, Hall effect. It'll run from either the Hall effect, or it will run from foot throttle. Uh, They're actually a, a pretty pretty well well built hall effect throttle. Um, the only problem with them is is that the voltage range is is different. Like uh, this has a voltage range from I think 0 0.8 volts to uh, 3.6 volts, whereas traditional hall effects have a uh, adjustment from 0 0.8 volts to about 4. 4.5, 4.6 volts. It's something like that. I can't remember off the top of my head, but um, it's something like that. So I've had to make some changes so I can fit a throttle. But that all works. Okay. You've got a couple of settings on it. When the unit reaches over current, I'll show you what I mean. We can power it up. Now, as soon as we go over current, that light flashed to overcurrent and it flicked into overcurrent mode. Now what that does, I'll just turn it up so you can see it. Okay, you can see it working now and we can see it's just kicked into overcurrent again. Now you can run it in two modes. You can either, on the board there's going to be a, a pot uh, if you turn it all the way to one direction, as soon as it goes over current, like have a look, I don't know if you can see the motor running, you can see the current here, as soon as I get it up there, ouch, but, um, but look, that just kicked into over current, so it's going to stay off for a certain amount of time. So we can't turn it back on until it resets, which it's now done, and our mode is back working again. If we overload it, it applies pressure until it hits its limit, and then it turns off again. So I've got no control until it kicks back in. So I've got to wait for it. Still waiting. There we go. Back in. If you have a look at the lights, you'll see what happens. As soon as it hits X amount of current, I'm not sure where I'm going to see that because I didn't look. It kicks in, you've got no control. Now you can run it in, oops, you can run it in different modes. You can actually run it, so um, we can turn this right down. That's the timing, and uh, suddenly you'll see the current limit is disabled. So now we're drawing 20 amps, we're drawing 29 amps, 30 amps. So you're basically switching off the current limiter when that's turned right down. Turn it back up. And suddenly, power's up again. But as soon as you go over current, oh, we didn't turn it up on That'll do what it did before and just kick out. Now, you can run it in a separate mode, which is current limiting mode. On the board that we're getting made, it's going to have a switch on it, which will allow you to run it. So if you have a look here, we're drawing 7.5 amps. So that's where our current limit is set. 
That's at max throttle. Actually, I think it's close to the 10. But we can adjust it by this pot. We can turn it up. So now we can see that it's drawing no more than 1.2 amps. And we can actually turn that up. So if we want it to draw 10 amps ish. It's hard to do with the throttle in my hand and holding it going at the same time. So we can run it in a current limiting mode, in which case it'll only ever draw the current that you let it. You can't go over that current. And if we load it up again, you can see it's still around the current we set. So that's what happens when you disable the um, when you disable the current limiting. Now if we put the switch back in, which will be a switch later on. Ouch! You can see it's kicked into overcurrent mode as soon as it's hit 10. That's because I've got my hand on it blocking the thing up. Can't really see it, but uh, you get the picture. Now, as we go, so we can uh, we can set it. So when it hits a certain point, it switches off. We can turn it up. We can actually adjust that time as well, so it kicks in much faster. Um, That's it. Too easy.